Hi, I'm Hannah Bernard. You're watching Market One Minute, and today I'm joined by Larry Ray of American Manganese. Now, Larry, we'll get to your proprietary patented process for recycling lithium batteries in just a minute, but to give our audience a bit more context, can you tell us the cathode material that makes up a Tesla Model 3 battery? It's a, it's a lithium cobalt, which is the same material we're testing. 4% lithium, 60% cobalt. Cobalt trades at 1225. The value of that is somewhere between 1500 to $3,000 a ton, or a 1,000 pound battery, $3,000 a ton. Mm -hmm. We could become the uh, largest primary producer of cobalt in the world because 80, 90, 95% of it comes as a, as a byproduct. The byproduct is from mining of nickel and, and copper. We would be a primary producer of cobalt from our recycling. From the recycling. So how many companies are exploring this recycling of lithium batteries? I can think offhand two or three and uh, how they basically are progressing. Uh, they're not transparent about that. But I'm aware that other companies are out there looking at this. I mean, it's a big issue. What are you going to do with these batteries? Mm -hmm. They're toxic. So the, uh, there's probably Nissan, Tesla, every one of them have probably got some kind of a, a uh, R&D going on about recycling batteries. Mm -hmm. But you are positioned to be somewhat of a pioneer in this new technology. Well, I would hope that we're going to be ahead of everybody else. Your proprietary patented process to recycle lithium batteries. How did you discover that your process would work? Just to give you a very brief history, uh, the patent was developed to treat low-grade ores in the U.S. And I think it's really important to know that the U.S. government tried for 50 to 60 years to take those low-grade deposits and make deposits to make electrolytic manganese metal and make it economically. They failed. And uh, we hired Cometco Research Inc., which is a very uh, leading edge research firm. They came up with a solution within two or three years. And now we have a patented process that will treat low grade manganese ores and be able to compete with the uh, electrolytic manganese metal sales in China. That said and done, how did we realize it was going to work on lithium? Well, I told you that uh, Cometco is leading edge, and their president and CEO, Norm Chow, actually uh, phoned me up and he said, look, I've been doing the uh, math and the chemistry on your, uh, on your patent, and we can, not sh should, we can recycle lithium ion batteries. Mm -hmm. Wow. So the management of the company, which is American Manganese Inc., started discussing that back and forth, and we figured, okay, if we have that intellectual property within the company, we should do at least a proof of concept to show that this does work. So we raised the money to do a proof of concept and uh, hired Cometco to do the proof of concept. Now, we've had a very successful time up until now, and uh, that should continue. Uh, everything that you've seen in our press releases are telling you that, yes, these guys are on the right track. So on that note, you're on the right track. Obviously, to make this shift in focus, you had to see a lot of potential. So what is the potential there? Last year, about 282,000 uh, spent batteries came free. That's a lot of batteries, 282,000. By the mid 2020s, it could be a half a million to a million. And what are you going to do with these batteries? Currently, yeah. the recycle programs are to take the battery and burn it in a smelter. That's the big one. Mm -hmm. And what do you get out of that? You get a little bit of the cobalt back and the rest of it goes into slag, which is a lithium. If it's a lithium nickel manganese cobalt battery, all that goes into slag except for 40 to 60 percent of the cobalt. So what we want to do is we want to have an economy that cir is circular. Circular economy. We want to be able to take that lithium material and move it back to the manufacturer and have it put in a new battery. Mm -hmm. We should be able to get 
enough to make a new battery, similar battery, out of the stuff that we recycle. Wow. And you mentioned that proof of concept testing. So where is things at with that right now in the process? We are in the process now of uh, actually separating out the powder. Okay. Uh, we've got the high, high purity powder and uh, we've been able to separate it out and the next step is to actually build a uh, prototype, what we call button cell battery that can be tested to show that it will take a charge and uh, the charge has to be at a certain uh, voltage and we're pretty confident that we'll get that but we'll have to wait and see. So that's the next step. Mm -hmm. Plus we've got to keep recycling. We had 100% of the uh, material come out in leaching, but it's in solution. Now you've got to get it out of solution. That's called the precipitation test. Mm -hmm. We've announced that we've gotten up to 60% of the uh, lithium and 91% of the cobalt. Those are high numbers. Yeah. This is the first phase. Wow. So you go into lock cycle testing. Lock cycle, an elementary ex explanation is just recycling it through. Mm -hmm. Deposit it on a material, then take what's left over, recycle it through, deposit it on a material, and until you've got, well, greater than 90% of the uh, lithium and the cobalt. That's great recoveries, and uh, Norm thinks we'll do better than that. Well, Larry, if you had the chance to talk directly to an investor about why to invest in American manganese, what would you say to them? I'd say do your due diligence. Go on Google. Find out who's recycling and take a look at some of the numbers that I've just shot out here and begin to realize that maybe we're on to something that could be very lucrative and very great for the shareholders. Sounds like a lot of exciting things coming from American Manganese. Larry, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.